going on YouTube. <laughs> Y'all gotta excuse the glasses. My original glasses that I usually wear are broken. Was getting the lenses switched out and during that process, the frame cracked. My Ray-Bans were pretty old as it was. And yeah, so I got a, got a new pair coming in pretty soon. These are my backup ones. I really don't like the way they look, but your boy is blind. I gotta see, but that's not what this video is about. So we are on our way to Boulder, Colorado, which is like hour and a half away. I'm gonna try my luck and put in for the Jaritos, the, the Jarito SB Dunks that's releasing. And hopefully I hit. If not, be a nice little road trip, you know, Still doing something productive with my day. Let's go. I'm getting to the skate shop. Let me go in and just drop down here. Up. This satellite got a long little line. So we finally made it inside. There you go, dude. I appreciate it. Yo. Oh, I got a nachos, y'all. You want the last? What do you know, guys? Look what I found. <laughs> well, guys, y'all see I hit for a ticket? Yes, sir. And uh, now we'll wait. <laughs> made it back home, y'all. I made it back home. So, drove out to Boulder, Colorado today. Took about an hour and a half to get out there. Got out there to Satellite Board Shop. Made it there. It was a decent line outside the shop. Um, it wasn't too bad, though, waiting in line. I think I waited in line for, like, maybe 30-something minutes, maybe 40 at the most, if even. It was not that long. Um, when you get inside the shop, basically what they were doing since the Cinco de Mayo day, they was handing out little tiny bowls with nachos and cheese and stuff on them, right? So... I don't think everybody had a ticket under their nachos. It's only certain people. So you eat, you know, you picking through your nachos. Underneath the nachos was a ticket. And you get your ticket and you basically let them know, hey, I got a ticket. They'll take your information down and they'll call you. So I want to say they said, because they were doing it from two to six o'clock. So I want to say tomorrow morning when they can actually sell the shoe is when they'll be letting people know, hey, you know, you 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 want your size for the shoe or whatever. I got a ticket. How lucky is that? Doesn't guarantee me a pair of shoes, but it does guarantee me a raffle entry. Again, guys, I don't think everybody got a ticket under their nachos. I first, when I got my bowl of nachos, I didn't even think I was gonna get a ticket. And pick, I was picking through them, boom. Saw the little, not a golden ticket, <laughs> saw the red ticket under it. Gave him my information, it was like, all right, bet, we'll call you if your number, I mean, if, if your ticket gets selected, when bam, thank you. So, pretty much, um, fingers crossed, guys. Single de Mayo, trying to get a pair of Jorit, 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 Jorito's Dunks. Hope I said it right. 
Um, fingers crossed. It was cool, all in all, good, good fun. Uh, and to be honest with you guys, it kind of brought back them old days of when I used to camp out a lot, trying to get sneakers. Not even trying to get a raffle spot, but just it just brought back the old days when, you know, um, when I used to camp for sneakers and stuff. I remember back in the days when I used to camp for like hours and stuff just to try to get a pair. And if they didn't have my size, I'd take whatever size I can get in hopes of being able to trade it later down the line. So, you know, kind of brought back some memories today, you know? The drive back it was a little bit of traffic, about two hours, but it's all good. Fingers crossed, hopefully I get a call tomorrow. If I don't, I could always try on, I believe the sneakers release is May 10th. And yeah, you know, here's what it is. I don't drink. Where I'm from, we call it pop. I know y'all call it, you know, soda. But most of us in Chicago, most of us from Chicago, or should I say Midwesterners, we, we refer to it as pop. I don't drink a lot of pop these days. Um, when I was growing up, I did. And uh, fun fun little fact about Haritos. Uh, I had a, a, a close friend um, when I was in grade school. Uh, he was Mexican. I remember uh, his name was Ricky. We called him Ricky. Uh, and, and I remember every time he came to school, his mama would pack him a lunch. She uh, she would put some, a bottle of Horitos in there and stuff. And um, that was the first time I was actually, you know, I was actually, you know, able to try this drink. And I remember the first drink, uh, the first the first flavor of Horitos that I drank was, uh, it was the orange one. And I thought it was cool. I used to love drinking that stuff growing up. And then when I decided to change, you know, a lot of my diet and stuff, um, I don't drink a lot of I don't drink a lot of pop these days. I don't drink no Pepsi, no no Mountain Dew, Coke. If I do, it's like every once in a blue moon, you know. Um, speaking of diet and stuff, shout out to Unbreakable Kicks. I saw he posted a video about his weight loss journey, and I think that's a beautiful thing. You know, you got to take care of yourself. And in his case, he got a wife. He got. He got, I think he got a kid too, so, you know, you got to take care of yourself. But it's okay to have a little snack here and there and stuff. Um, I ain't had a Horitos in years. I'm thinking I might go in and pop one of these open. I had some nachos earlier when I was, you know, getting my, my little ticket. So I'm thinking I might as well just go and bust these out. Um, not going to drink for Cinco de Mayo. You know, if you guys are out there having a drink, be safe. Get yourself an Uber. Get yourself a Lyft. You know, just be safe. You know, have some fun. Don't have too much crazy fun. But if you guys are out there drinking, do not drive. Get yourself an Uber. Get yourself a Lyft. That way you can be here tomorrow to see another day. And, you know, just take care of yourself. But other than that, y'all, just want to share with you guys my little journey in trying to get one little raffle ticket today. And, you know, that's just what it's all about being a sneakerhead sometimes. You know, you got to you gotta put in some work, you know. You can't expect everything to come to you. And to me, it was fun, you know. Nice little road trip. And it was cool, you know. Nice and fun. You know, that's that's what I live for. This is what got me. This is what I used to when I first got into sneakers. I used to always camp out and stuff and putting in raffle tickets and stuff. It was fun, man. You know, now everything is all about trying to fight the bots and stuff. And <laughs> I am not a fan of that. But other than that... Hopefully tomorrow morning I get a call. If not, I'll probably post another video about how, how you know, disappointed I am. But it is what it is, guys. You know, we take L's today only to get dubs tomorrow. Hopefully, right? Other than that, let me know if you guys are going for the for a pair of the Haritos. If you got a skate shop by you or if you're just going to wait for the official release on sneakers. Let me know. Or if you're not even digging it at all. You know what I mean? So... Drop some chatter in that comment box. Other than that, stay blessed, stay fresh. Love your loved ones like there's no tomorrow. I will see you guys very soon on the next one. Until then, peace.